Hello and welcome back. This time it's not a synth, well actually it is too, but you'll see later. Anyway, it's an FX unit, the Behringer Bass VMP. To get this out of the way first, even though Behringer has surged in popularity lately, many people still hate Behringer and its products with glowing passion. Behringer gear is said to be poorly made and terribly sounding, and to a certain degree you probably can't disagree. Take for example this very unit in front of us today. I had to open it when I got it because the previous owner seemed to have seriously abused the pure thing and boy oh boy was this machine full of poor soldering and messy goo. Yet even after the abuse it took it still works as all my other Behringer gear always has. And sure you will find better sounding and better built gear but for the asking price Behringer does a hell of a good job especially with all these reissues of classic synths which might not be perfect but for a fraction of the price of the originals they really can't. But back to this very unit, the Behringer Bass VMP, which could itself also be considered a shameless clone of the pod series of FX and AMP modeling machines by Line 6. Just as the pods, the VMs offer a compilation of the FX, AMP and speaker simulations, all in a very compact and portable package. There also is a variant of the VMP for guitar players, but this one is specifically aimed at bass players with typical effects like a funky auto wall or a talk box like effect. Strangely somehow it also features setups for keyboards and acoustic guitars too. Bass and guitar effects have long been used in electronic music for synths and drum machines, so why not try using this unit instead of stockpiling and daisy chaining lots of pedals? First, I'll put my trusty Volker bass, playing a simple bass patch through the VM, browsing through some of the amp simulations and effects. So first clean. Now some M simulations. And now everything together. <laughs> 
Next up, I'll use Caustic on my trusty Pixel C here for a drum loop again. First browsing through some amp simulations, then some FX presets. First clean again. And now the amps. We're done again. Well, almost. Because while this is no Apple product presentation, I still have one more thing that I could fit into an envelope. The Bass VM's Virtual Analog Synth mode. It's super limited to just 16 preset sounds and the only parameter that can be modified is the reverb level. It seems that this takes up all the processing power of the units, so no FX or M simulations here. Still, listen for yourself. For what it is, it sounds pretty impressive actually and must be something like the world's cheapest VA synth.
So we're done again with the Behringer Base VM. As I hope, I was able to show you it offers some interesting FX and sound shaping features and a super limited but great sounding synth, offer a criminally low price. I've seen these units go for as low as 30 euros lately, and for that price, they simply are a great addition for a small dollar setup. See you again soon. Oh, oh.